Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to disable or enable the Steam input. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to controller tab, and over here, disable the Steam input. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So disable the Steam input, then you can launch the game and then check still not working. You can even try to enable the Steam input and check which one is working fine for you. Now still not working. The next step is for non-Steam users, add the game to Steam. So if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, in that case, uh, you can go to Steam and then you can install Steam login and then at the bottom left here, you can see add a game option and then click on add a non-Steam game. And then click on browse option over here. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. And then open Ubisoft Connect. Open Ubisoft game fo launcher folder. And then open the games folder. Open the game folder over here select the game exe file and then click on open now once the game is added click on add selected program and once the game is added over here now you can launch the game from steam and then check the controller still not working the next step is to enable playstation controller using control panel now for this you can just type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option so if you're using playstation controller now you have to connect your controller using the usb connection so use a wired connection to connect your controller to the computer and i'm connecting now once connected here you can see dual sense wireless control make a right click and then enable it so if this is disabled make a right click enable it once this is enabled, make a right click and then click on configure speaker. And then you will see quadraphonic select it and then click on next. Put a check on the box which says front, left and right surround speaker. Put a check on both the boxes. Click on next. Click on finish. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. PlayStation controller user use DS4 Windows. So if you have this application, you can launch it and then you can use DS4. If you don't have it, you can install it. And then once you install it, configure your controller and then launch the game. Next step is to update controller using PlayStation Accessories app or Xbox Accessories app. So if you have Xbox controller, then go to Microsoft Store and in the search option, you can type in Xbox Accessories app, open Xbox Accessories app. And once you open it, once you install it, after the installation, you can launch Xbox Accessories app. Now, once you launch it, you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. So make sure that you use the wired connection. So connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer. And I will connect now. Now, once connected, it will direct your controller. Now click on these three dots over here. And then if there is any update, you will see update option. So hit update and then you can update your controller and then you can check. Similarly, if you have PlayStation controller, in that case, uh, you can use PlayStation Accessories app. So you can uh, go to Google and then you can search for PlayStation Accessories app. And then go to the official PlayStation website. You can download for Windows. You can run the exe file and install PlayStation Accessories app. And then you can launch PlayStation Accessories app. Now connect your controller. Now, once your controller is connected over here, detect your computer. If there is any update, you will see update option. In my case, it's already up to date. So if you see update option, you can update your controller and then you can check. Now, still not working. The next step is to launch Steam in Big Picture. And for Steam users, you can go to Steam. Uh, at the top right here, you can see Big Picture mode icon. Click on the Big Picture mode icon.
now once the stream is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then you can check still not working next step is to now the next step is to uh, if you have any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer which you are not using disconnect all the external devices usb adapter unplug keyboard or external mouse later on you can connect but you can uninstall uh, unplug it and then you can launch the game and then check disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller this is important so if you have vjoy etc running you can disable it or uninstall it and then check the last step is to use the wired connection so you can connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel